Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Playframe, and welcome to Happen Lance, or full title, Sir Happen Lance and the Spear of Density. Happen Lance for short. I am Dan, as you probably well know, and I'm joined by my friend once again, Will Overgard. Will, how are you? I'm doing bloody splendid, and thank you <laughs> for for having me once more. Absolutely, I am thrilled to have you. Most people think like after the first two times, you'd be like, "Nah, let's, let's no more of this ginger Brit." But apparently, <laughs> we're going for we're going for more. I'm a slow learner, Will, and I'm thrilled to have you here. <laughs> I nearly spat tea out my nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Will, as many of you are probably aware by now, we've had him as a guest a few times, uh, is a streamer himself full time over at uh, Viking Blonde. We're going to put that up on screen. That is his Twitch channel where you can find him on the regular. What what all days do you stream, Will? Uh, Tuesday through Saturday. Um you can find me on the internet. Yes. And <laughs> Will is a delightful streamer. He's had, similar to me, he's had experience working in the game industry for a good number of years, a good, different sectors of it. So his like knowledge base and experience is very different from mine. But uh, he's got, it's very fun to hear him kind of just go off and explain a whole lot of uh, industry happenings and move, moves and trends. I enjoy it immensely. And we may even get into that a little bit. I don't know. This game, uh, we'll launch into it in a second here. If you haven't heard of it, if you've played uh, Getting Over It by Bennett Foddy. This has similarities in the movement style, except it is co-op as well. And uh, weirdly, way less frustrating, despite being very, very challenging. In fact, Will and I literally played like five plus hours of this over on his Twitch channel earlier today. Yes. I, I think it's very telling that when the game I was thinking, like we were thinking of doing for this a little recording here, we realized, oh shoot, it's local co-op only. That won't work. Do you want to play Happen Land some more? And Will actually said, I would love that. <laughs> yeah, like you'd think after five hours of challenging ourselves up and down these bloody cliffs, stabbing people with our flying lances and whatnot, we'd be, we'd have had our fill by now, but no. And the thing was, no dissing on the game we were meant to be playing, but when you were like, hey, do you want to do you want to just happen, Lance? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I want to happen, Lance. <laughs> I'm very excited, also excited. So as I've said, this is not my first time playing this. Uh, I've played a little bit of this with Will over a couple of actually different sessions over on his channel, probably maybe 10 hours in total. We've gotten through maybe a third of the game <laughs> uh, and are still having a grand old time. So as you can see on my screen now, I got a room all loaded up and Will will be able to join once he's able. Uh, controls very similar to, here we go. Controls very similarly to getting over it, as you can see. Yes, uh, except for instead of a hammer, it's a sharpened lance. So. It's true, sharp lance. And you, I know some of you are thinking already, is the lance pointy and like hazardous and can you like hurt each other? Yes, <laughs> yes Betrayal! you can. <laughs> <laughs> I needed. We needed to get this demonstration out of the way early. Now it's not like there's lives or anything. It's fine, but it does set you back a little ways. Uh, so I figured it was good to demonstrate that here and now, early. Now, before we get right into the the oh, <laughs> the spangly parts. But I did say describe it as co-op and not competitive because yes, you can also coordinate a little bit with a little throws. Upsy daisy. Yeah. So you can beat this entire game solo. You do not need to cooperate to. Uh, to reach new heights, but you can work together from time to time to uh, get places. And I'm actually quite excited to see how you and I, with about 10 hours total experience under our belts, how much faster do we burn through the early portions of this experience? Yes, um, if we end up being stuck on the first area for the next 12 hours, we have no excuses. <laughs> we are practiced. No. That would be incredibly disheartening. <laughs> Uh, and the other little quirk is that, you know, you have jump and you have a bit of movement as well. So you can kind of, there's a little bit of air movement. There's a little bit more uh, flexibility. That's true. Uh, and there is a checkpoint system as well, unlike yes. good old getting over it. Exactly. So, yeah, I will uh, sort of demonstrate here. Like, in getting over it, as I recall, once you fling yourself, once you're in the air, there's nothing you can do other than flail with frustration. Here, there is some of that kind of like hang time control. I can steer myself in midair, which surprisingly makes you feel way more in control and makes this control scheme feel a lot more like, ooh, kind of like intuitive and usable. It's weirdly satisfying to actually, shockingly, control a character like this. Oh yeah, although it does come with one caveat in that regard, which is, you know that thing in racing games where you're driving around corners and you start like clenching one bum cheek to, to yes. somehow, when you lean into the corners, uh, the same thing happens with this. 
and um, <laughs> I might have given myself like a, a cramped muscle earlier from just <laughs> how cli- tightly the buns were clenched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, that will happen. Ah, thank you. Ah, see, look at that. See, look at I got help. you. Look at the help we get. We got. We got over it. Yeah. We go. And not to be crass, but the other cute little thing about this is that uh, in the event oh, right. that uh, you get too close and you touch tips, you can. Just a little, 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 little hearts. hearts. Little hearts. So we're teammate buddies, and we've reached a flag, which means we've reached a checkpoint. That alone means that this is not nearly so frustrating an experience. It will be frustrating when you get stuck a little bit, but especially if you're playing at co op, it's mostly like pretty chill. Yeah. Like, yeah, you'll get a little frustrated, but you got somebody to chat with and goof. You're having some. Well, look at that! See, look, look at that! that springboard we just did! Okay, yeah, it's definitely all paying off now. It really is, wow. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All, right, all right, all right. This can be done. For those of you who didn't get to see our adventures today, like, we were trying to climb a sheer cliff with the two of us. Oh, almost, and almost. It was a challenge. Was there a box back here? I wonder if there was a crate or something. I don't think there was. I think it's just down to skill. Um, and friends, we managed to make our way halfway up the cliff several times. We ended up basically being like two billy goats on the edge, just having a <laughs> long natter about new grounds and old video game websites and things like that. Yeah, we were just having like some just fun conversations and reminiscing while just sort of standing, taking a breather. Hey, thanks for Got the boost. <laughs> just taking a breather, enjoying the sights, talking about internet days past wow and that was just that was just muscle memory i've like i've got just enough a little muscle memory to where i can sort of let intuition and instinct carry me and if i do think about what i'm doing i'm doomed yeah i've just gotta ponder the great mysteries of life and uh <laughs> celebrate the the great achievements lest i think about the control scheme and just eat it yep uh i'm rather proud of us look at us go yeah the progress we're making. Yay! This is kind of your one emote, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can also control use a controller, and I can't decide which I like better. I like the slightly more finesse with my aim with a uh, with a mouse and keyboard, because yeah, you can still you can run, you can jump and all that. Yeah. Usually for uh, for streaming in the ilk, I'm a controller user just for for more fluid movement for people watching. Yeah. Same. But um, I. I I'm conditioned now for mouse and keyboard for this nonsense. Yeah, yeah, um, it is hard switching back and forth between the two. Oh, this bit. Uh, we're we're gonna need here. I'll create for you a kind of hazardous platform. <laughs> hey, it works. Whee! Hey, nice. The important but, uh, thing is you land on a specific part of the platform. Eh. Let me. And being able, to, like, even just solving puzzles, having a lance instead of a hammer is kind of fun. Being able to like poke some of these little boxes and all right let me uh another box down for it <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> so i feel like the box didn't do its intended job <laughs> it oh. it caused a few unexpected hiccups on the way there but the box is there and the box is there any skull crunching noises that may or may not have happened is purely coincidental most importantly will's progress wasn't reset will, will <laughs> is still there so that progress is preserved. I just got to make my way over here and uh, see what I can do. What? Oh no, I'm sorry. We got like the idea kind of right. On paper, that worked. Uh, <laughs> oh, hey. Because it's if your that... corpse makes it across the line. Oh, wow, that's... That was it. That was the thing we forgot today. It's grim that I'm st starting to strategize around that. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing was, is like I was, I was casting my mind back to some of today's conversations and the things like you know talking about like you know uh, video game animation stuff and how incredible some of the stuff has been this year. Oh yeah. Because um, I realised we didn't talk about uh, the fact that Moss got a surprise sequel out of nowhere. Yeah. All right, come on, come on. I think I'm going to need a little bit more oomph for this to work. We All right, might... you want me to give you oh, the yeah, old uh, the old upsy daisy? Ah, uh, sure. Why not? Hey. Oh, Boing. Ah. Uh, okay, maybe maybe we need to get further up the actual. Hmm, actually, do we have to do it from above? Can we not just? Uh, oh no, it's sturdy. I think we gotta like break it. Maybe we can like climb up, get a little. Uh, eh. Here, hey, I'll let you. I've been taking point for a bit here. Why don't you uh, charge right. on ahead? With the old. Ali -up. Yeah. Ooh, beautiful. Now, we didn't uh, think the rest uh, of this entirely through, but um, I have uh, faith in your 
Lancemanship. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. We're through. Anyone would think we knew what we were doing. Yeah. I have to kind of like moonwalk backwards, but it's fine. I assure you it did not go this speedily our first time through. Oh, no. This was no. hours getting to this point. <laughs> uh... So yeah, it's like a weirdly fun, if you found Bennett Foddy kind of fun, but you eventually found that you were like, all right, like I'm kind of enjoying the challenge of this, but I hit a frustration point, or you're looking for more fun of that sort, but one that's not really trying to be trollish about it, that is challenging, don't get yeah. me wrong, but also actually kind of just legit fun. Like I was saying earlier today, like I really respect what Bennett Foddy did with getting over it. Like it's a meditation on difficulty. It's a discussion about how games what is challenge in a game isn't something that we really discuss all that often. We talk about difficulty and accessibility a lot. We don't talk about what it actually means. And, you know, the whole point of that game is that a mountain isn't a mountain because it looks like one. A mountain's a mountain because it's hard to climb. Yeah. And in video games, you know, I, I can't stop thinking about that long slog up to the top of the biggest mountain in Skyrim. It's not difficult. It's time consuming. It's incredibly frustrating, but it's not difficult. It's true. I have a sinking feeling we're going to need rocks. Oh, oh dear. I have another sinking feeling. <laughs> also, in Bennett Foddy, you can't accidentally skewer your friend with a lance. But there's also, there's no. Um, it's the one thing. Hey, look at that stun. Hey! <laughs> hey! Oppa! Got some like extremely violent hibachi going on here. <laughs> this is the kind of trick you can only mess up once. <laughs> Ooh, ba, 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 ba. Hey! hey oppa, oppa. <laughs> oh wow, good throw! Look at you. I'm, I'm, apparently, I've been paying attention. <laughs> hey! Nope! 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 Not quite! Not quite! Not quite! Actually, is ah? Uh, is all hibachi extremely violent? I think about it now. <laughs> Oppa! I feel like all hibachi has the potential for violence, and that's where the excitement comes in. Yay, there we go. <laughs> ha! Nope. Hey! Close, but ow. <laughs> um, uh, also, it's ha! definitely nope. easier as the host. Noted, noted. Sorry. You've been working with a, a, a handicap of sorts. That is unfortunate. Um, <laughs> But no, what was really interesting about this is, you know, uh, as I'm sure you all know, like the story of getting over it is it was based on a troll flash game. And whilst getting over it has a lot of trollish mechanics, it actually wants you to just stop and think about, hey, what does it mean for a game to be difficult? What does it mean to persevere? And one of the things I love about it is that getting over it starts as like a critique of modern video games and how generic and boring and simple they are. And it ends on this glorious meditation of what our achievement in games mean like if you struggle and play through something difficult whether it's an achievement or otherwise your experience is more valid you know it doesn't yeah. have to be acknowledged by the system you know you don't have to have 20 collectibles that tell you you were right um, that is very true i also have great news we don't need every rock over here as long as you've got one you can kind of like uh okay. fling off of you should be able to reach it uh, i was just uh uh, just uh, throwing them up for funsies. Um, it was pretty fun, actually. Actually, so a little shout out to uh, to a, a digital friend of mine, uh, one uh, Shackle Draconis. Yes. Uh, oh, who yeah. went through the process of leveling Woo. every character in wow. Final Fantasy XIV. That also, is, yeah, we... incredible achievement. I've not, I've leveled a lot of characters, but not, not that much. <laughs> and I thought that was Respect. such a wonderful thing because I don't know if there's an in-game reward for it, but it doesn't matter. That's an achievement that that person has done, which is something that they can be incredibly proud of. That's a fine point, yeah. yeah. Oh, that almost worked first try until it didn't. <laughs> oh, I remember <laughs> these spikes. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> uh, I think we semi-cheated last time by hurling each other up. We might oh. have. Nah, we got this. This is easier than what we've been doing today. That is true. What am I talking about? Yeah, we've just spent a lot of time failing to get up one real nasty wall in level six or so. And it taught us a great many things. It did. Um, we can definitely do this. Probably not at the same time, though. That's the thing yeah. that I didn't think through quite enough. 
Now, the problem I'm trying to get uh, get past is not talking about Sea of Thieves anymore, which is my other great <laughs> obsession at the moment. That is okay. Because, well, Sea of Thieves is very much about cosmetic improvements and cosmetic uh, success. Yeah. There's no... Yeah. There's no, like, numerical DPS upgrades to be unlocked. There's no... Whoa! Hey! Stunts! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> now, if you come past and you notice a knight impaled on a spike who looks a lot like me, it's obviously not me. It's just a look-alike. I see. I, I come see. from uh, a long line of impaled knights. <laughs> but yeah, no, sorry I'm becoming so predictable when I just talk about Sea of Thieves. But that, that, that is okay. Listen, they've been putting up with me talking about Final Fantasy XIV here for like a year. They, at this point, they are used to this. <laughs> Fair. Uh, oh, in the same place. Why that am I like painful. this? Uh, purely coincidental. Um, but no, the thing I keep thinking Oops. about is that despite being like a an emergent narrative game and an open world title, there's no there's no permanent progression system. It's all just. Oh, I think this is the boogie board. Oh, I think you're right. A one, right. two, three, we go. Yeah! we. I love this exists. <laughs> you don't need it at all. <laughs> oh. Although I might, I might make use of it though. Yeah. Be silly not to use it. Um, yep. But no, I think about that one a yep. lot because it really ha. is fascinating that such a big AAA game eschews everything that every other. Woohoo! Look at you go. I learned it from watching you. <laughs> I was here today. I know that's not true. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I made it worse for us both. Whee! Oh, no. <laughs> you're, you're kind of right, though. Like, And it's a brilliant... It's the thing that makes Sea of Thieves work. That yeah. you can join your... That I could... Like, I lack time to get into Sea of Thieves. It, oh, no. But if I did have the time to dive into it with you and my other friends who've been playing it for a good long amount of time. Because there's no like hard locked in progression, it's just kind of the stuff you find and the good times you have. I could join you today and we could do the same things and have a great time. Yes, as opposed yeah. to like shooty gun bang 12, where it'd be like, oh, well, you oh, I made a mistake, two of them. Um, <laughs> like, oh, you have hit all the evidence. Prestige 12 by punching 18,000 chickens so you can't join us on our co-op because... God, it's just a larger portion of AAA multiplayer does feel like that scene in Mean Girls if you can't sit with us. <laughs> and it's like, cool, great, I guess. I mean, I thought we were all, you know, meant to be super special shooty gun bang operatives, but apparently, <laughs> no, you're just cooler than me. <laughs> Sorry, I know I'm a bit salty on it but it's just anyway I... Oh, is... oh, oh, oh. I can't tell if that's a no I saw the screen shake that... yes! wait Ooh. All right, you're next I'm up. on a roller coaster just trying to interpret what all the what all the shouts mean <laughs> are they good or are they pain first it um... was good then bad then spooky but in a fun way <laughs> Ooh. what a fun arc for your literal arc through the air. Ah, yeah. ah I see what you did there. Ah. Oh, no. I'm glad, actually, you can't see what I'm doing. Oh, no, wait, that's, that's, this isn't spikes. I'm fine here. <laughs> okay. uh, whilst you're careening across this, I'm actually going to uh, uh, abuse uh, our friendship a little bit, because one of the things we talked about today uh, was yes. suggesting names for your ship. So <laughs> what that's would, a great idea. Yeah, what would a Playframe's Sea of Thieves vessel be named? That's I'm not going to say anything that people came up with today, but uh, if you all want to throw them down in the comments, I'd love to compare the lists. I would be very curious as well. Like, because uh, with enough time, I can come up with some fun, silly, punny names, but uh, our comment section has consistently demonstrated a knack for this. Whoop, a knack for this. Uh, no. And dear Playframe viewer, I want you to understand how I oh, imagine no. you in this scene. Uh, oh, no. You rise from your, your chestnut oaken wood desk and walk into the library. Uh, Jeeves, the extremely overpaid butler, was in and goes, ah, would you care for a beverage? And you go, yes, I would. 
I have puns to write. And then <laughs> hopping on one of those little like special wheelie shelves specifically for fancy bookcases, you skirt oh, no. across your incredible collection of hardbound paper, uh, hardbound paper books and Ooh. reach the pun ah. section. No, it might count. It might count. That might count. That counted. Yes! <laughs> hey, I'll take it. That's that's <laughs> how I got it. Oh, f this one. Oh right, I remember being here for a while. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Playframe viewers, I want you to know that is how I see you in my mind's eye. <laughs> I have an active imagination. Yeah. Oh no. It's the tricky thing here is the gap. But if you can get past the gap. Then, as Will is demonstrating, not as bad. Yeah, it's way easier than that f***ing wall we did. Yeah. Oh. yeah, definitely easier than the wall. It was really dismaying seeing uh, before we started today that the speedrun time for this whole game is less than 14 minutes. But, um, oh no, I've hit the lives limit on this one. Yeah. Uh, Unfortunate. After a while, so th and this is one thing that I'd say is like as a suggestion, uh, if the devs happen to be watching, uh, cause just because it was a little unclear to us at first, like how it worked in co-op, being able to see if you have a lives limit, because there is a point where it you're not allowed to respawn anymore and you do have to just uh, restart at flag, basically, uh, to get it to work. Sorry. Sorry, that was unnecessary. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> oh, see, that's what was so tricky about the later levels is that there was only one yeah. checkpoint. Oh, wow, you're right. Yeah, we were wondering why. It's like, oh, why isn't uh, running out of lives and trying again seeming as helpful <laughs> as it did to us in some of the earlier levels is because we hadn't gotten to another checkpoint yet. But yeah, this is surprisingly fun for a game that could so easily be frustrating. And I do recommend it to anybody. Uh, it's only like, what, 15 bucks on Steam? Yeah. Well, and um, well, I haven't gotten to play as much as I'd like. The other one that uh, I got from from your lovely lot was uh, Will You Snail? Is it Will You Snail? <laughs> Will You Snail, yes. That was great fun as well. Really clever. Yeah. Uh, that yeah. one uses narrative more to to offset the, the trickiness of it, but uh, I f***ing love it. It's very good. Remind me... I feel like there was a trick to this one. I don't know if it was just uh, using the lance at the exact right time on this one, because I feel like I'm killing my momentum on this ledge every time um, in a not good way. Wasn't it off the the back of it, right? Uh, sorry, Let's it was try off the, that. the front of it. Uh, more like, oh, yeah, a little bit more direct. Oh, I'm going to turn through live so fast on this one. This is all feeling very familiar. If you yeah. are wanting to see, by the way, those uh, <laughs> the VODs of those... Previous streams Will and I have done, I'll put a link in the corner now. Oh, thank you. So you can uh, see us do this for 10 hours and talk about an abundance of interesting things while we do. There's a lot more incoherent nonsense. That Dan's being very kind. It gets... Oh, no. Uh, but what you're seeing on screen right now is a great preview of what to expect. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. Grip the wall. There we go. I got to a checkpoint. Oopsie daisy. How's life going on your end? Uh, I, I passed the next bit, and I remember that what you have to do in that bit is kind of um, hold, like you basically have to drag your lance downwards across the wall and try and find a foothold. Right. And then do the spinny hook back up. I do sort of remember that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but don't push too far away from the wall. Like you do have a little bit of grip here with this thing. But I feel I'm really starting to understand how to like how to air maneuver. Um, yeah, the sense of mastery. Like I never felt like I was ever getting closer to a sense of mastery with getting over. Oh, hello. With getting over it. Uh, nor do I feel like I have one now. But I feel like I have gotten considerably better enough to where I've got like some sense of how to control this now. Indeed, I don't think the Happen oh, Land speedrunning community is going to worry about us coming for their f no. lunch money, but no. what we've achieved in 20 minutes, I think, took us many, many hours last time. Yep, yep. Very true. Um, but no, the, the reason why I brought up uh, Will You Snail was just because like, it's another great example of using no. like frustration-style games to do something fascinating. Not just to, to, to Kaizo Mario you, not just to 
cause you to remove what little hair you might have left. But <laughs> to, to do something fascinating, like what I feel with this game is you really do feel like a knight on an impossible quest. Yeah, you were not given the tool you needed for this job, but darn it, you were given a job and you aimed to complete it. Yes, the king said, siege the castle. <laughs> and you asked, with what tools, my lord? And they went, whatever you have in your hands. And you no, were, all no. right. <laughs> and doggone it, these knights are determined and they're going to do their best. They might get stuck on that one cliff for a good number of hours. Thousands of them will die. Oop, hello. Oh, that no! That was help. too. That was very close to a good idea. Oh, so close! <laughs> ah, I've hit the respawn thing. Yeah, the respawn limit. Can you make it? Oh no, I have to wait for us both to come back. I'm afraid. Oh, we're both okay. Restart at flag then. At least we're here. I gotta Whee! stop doing that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm so glad it gives me a screen shake too when you die. That really is a vital addition to the comedy yeah, of this. The. The ragdoll corpses, the screaming. The thing is, I don't know if we'll make it in uh, in your in the episode today, but there is like NPCs to murder, and it's very satisfying. We might have to skip ahead for that because uh, at the end of me and Will's very first stream playing this over on his channel, many hours in, we finally found saw like our first archer, someone shooting at us, and realized, wait. We have a lance, we can attack them. And it is so satisfying to do once you finally do that. Like, it's amazing they withhold that reward for so long that they wait for you to gain a sense of control over yourself with this lance. And then they give you an antagonist to actually fight against. And it is great. We may have to skip ahead to like to that level. We might have in to a little bit here. Just for extreme violence. Absolutely. Um, and it has like a whole like Terry Gilliam style of like scream and, oh, no. you know, I should say Python-esque, but it's so funny. <laughs> that, that feels right. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not far enough. <laughs> Any game where that can, in which I can fail this frequently, but laugh most all the time. Like, right. I, like, I can't get mad at that. <laughs> if I'm if I'm laughing, I'm having fun. Ooh. I'm going to have to break this wall down here. Though it cost me my life. Hey, there we go. Oh, no. no yeah, we're we fine. We're fine. God. We also need, like, proper night names. Because like, we obviously were not both Salants. You know. That's true. Um, I mean, Lord Stabbington is a, is a good contender. <laughs> Why does no one want to be on the co-op team with Lord Stabbington? Why is he always picked last in this weird recess game? <laughs> Come on. The most violent and complex of reset of recesses game. Recesses <laughs> games, cool. I'm just coming up with you turn. We We've been talking a lot today. Ah, oh, I had almost Woo given us an enormous uh advantage moving forward. It is broken now. Oh, no. Ah, oh, hey, you're here. Lovely. Hello there. I had this lined up perfectly for just a little bit. It is not that way any longer, as you can see. How did we do this last time? Didn't we do some really sneaky nonsense with this? I think we did. I think we really got up to some true shenanigans making this one work out. Because, like, one of us can be underneath it, helping to brace it and make sure it doesn't drop too far. That was it. Which is great for one of us. But if you can get like enough of a grip, no, eh, you can't. It's too not quite not grippy. Let's see if I can push this back over here. Oop, doop, 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 doop. Right, my turn. Ah, perfect. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on. Back of the net. Come on. There we go. Yes. Yes. Almost. There we go. So close. Woo. Okay. I'm in. I'm in. I right. made it. Now here's the real question. Can we return the favor? Can I provide for you a grip that actually helps you and doesn't oh, kill you? Oh, 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 oh. Look at that! Teamwork! Oh. No also, one can knows I get how out of here cool without... we are. Woo! Oh, no. Nope. No. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, it's fine. Oh, I have died of natural causes. Oh, whatever could have happened. <laughs> 
Also, there's pogoing. We might have to skip to the level that also has pogoing because that is wildly satisfying, actually. <laughs> Dude, I need you to know that I had like a a Doctor Who introduction mind warp flashback to the Pogo Lava. Like, I, I just had the thousand yard stare for a moment there. <laughs> there is, yeah, we did get stuck on another lava E part for a little while. <laughs> it was pretty rough. Ah, yes, this old chestnut. Yep, the, uh, yep. The, the back and forth wiggle. You can do it. It's more forgiving, I've found, than with a hammer. Oddly, a lance is a better tool for this, though I still feel like maybe there could be something even better for the challenges we face today. Maybe there's a there's a halberd sequel in the process or some kind of, Ooh. I don't know, war pick. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, a great big... Something like a great big meaty climbing pick would be amazing for this. Come on, yay! Oh. Did it. <laughs> the other thing that you couldn't see was the fing vein on the side of my head. <laughs> oh no. Oh yes. Well, I remember this one. <laughs> uh, so, friends, you have to understand that we were hours into Happenlands when we got here the first time. Hours into this. Yeah. And in some regards, the, the madness had started to take hold mm -hmm. as we just threw ourselves off this cliff. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know if you want to go. Uh, Give them a few uh, a few examples. We should give the demonstrations of, yeah, what we were thinking you had to do. Yeah. Which was like, okay, let's fling ourselves, get some speed, and then like, fling! Ah. And we would get so close. And some occasional times, like one out of every 40 or 50 or something. We'd get close, but then get impaled on the spikes on the other side. Yeah, like we couldn't, we just couldn't land it. We thought, okay, maybe I was going too fast. Maybe I need to like, okay, I'll take it slow. Maybe I, Maybe I need to like... Position it to where like I'm on this side and I kind of like like ha like that nah. <laughs> yeah, we were doing the friendship dangle over the edge, trying like to uh, flick the other person across. No. Oh yeah, we were getting real creative oh. with it. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't intentional. I'm but... very sorry. I commit you to the gorge. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Hoisted by my own stabby petard. So you're like, how can you get? All mad at this game. So there is a way to do it, though, and I think that this is the one that we're thinking of. Oh yeah, I, I, I biffed the jump, but you just careen forward at great velocity and just tap jump, and then you just jump. You don't you don't like lance jump or anything. You just get some speed going, and then jump. More speed than that, of course, but you get the idea. At least I think this is the one we got to jump on. Yeah. And all you gotta do is just three jumps in a row once you get the momentum going. Oh, that's right, because yeah, there's more of them afterwards of a similar length. Yep, yep, yep. Just gotta get the momentum part right. Yep. Oh. There it is. Boom! Wow! It's really now, satisfying. <laughs> this is... I remember this well. We have oh, to no. fall, but not hit the spikes. Because if you hit them <gasps> straight that's down, right. it still wrecks your day. <laughs> Yes, it does. You're right. <laughs> but it counts if your corpse hits it, so... Woo! Hey, I'll take it. Sorry. I don't know. Oh, lava, right. Yeah. It's a lava. Per oh. Lava! I had to do it. <laughs> so many deaths. Oh, yeah. come on! I'm barbecuing myself over here. Pogo. Oh, hippity Pogo. hoppity. Let's go skippity. Whoop. Nope, you can't pogo in the deep lava. That just doesn't make sense. Yeah, we were we were warned about that. Yeah. Oh, we've got to do the swinging balls. Oh, we could skip it. We have some fun things to show. We have other fun things we can do. <laughs> Here, y'all have seen a, the idea. Let's skip ahead a chapter or so. Hang on. Chapter select. Uh, I'm a little worried that, yeah, if we're wanting to do... Okay, I'm just going to say then, pogoing in this is a delight. Uh, yes. It involves falling a long way, landing lance point first on a specific uh, sur on a surface, and the angle launching, like bounce launching you in a new direction, and chaining together pogos to get to a destination feels so cool. So It uh, feels like bouncing a ruler on the side of a table in that satisfying manner. Ah! Yep. And here we are. 
if we want to get to our first... Okay, I'm going to give us, like... You all right? Yeah. I'm going to give us, <laughs> like, four minutes in this place to see if either of us can get high enough to see the archer and maybe even kill the archer. I'm about to say, then, uh, after you, because... We spent a know, long time here, y'all. <laughs> this, this wall was our day. It was. I fed my family on this wall today. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. We're okay. No whoa. one died. No, no one died. died. No one died. Yeah, we're no good. good. We're good. We're good. We're just a bit airborne. <laughs> oh. Yep. Okay. If you can get and keep momentum going upward, you're golden, and it's so much easier. If you lose it and you're trying to gain it again, oh, yeah. murder. Literal murder. Literal murder is what we aspire to if we can get to the top of this. We may get shot with arrows, though. Is it also the See, look at that. Look at how I zipped up there. It's an archer. You can also, ha-ha, deflect the arrows. Get that nonsense out of here got spicy wow. earlier by managing to stab one guy and take his arrows and fling it into the face of the other. Uh. Felt like ye olde John Wick. <laughs> I fell down a ways. Ah. I'm just out of his range above here so I can, uh, I can taunt him from above. Smart. Hey, you don't just bring me over for my, my flowing locks and luscious good looks. Get him! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Come on. And then... Hey, oh, no. <laughs> I saw your corpse fall... Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy my lance didn't do the job. There have been a few occasions where... One of us has managed to kill the other. The dead one's lance went flying and then succeeded in falling upon the survivor. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Those were some bad times. They were some bad times. Funny, though. Yeah, the thing I've gotten really uh, confident at is kind of throwing myself... All right, I immediately died from it there. But um, throwing myself backwards off a ledge and then using the, the down momentum to kind of, like, spring throw myself up into the air yeah like i've given up on all pretense of trying to be a, an interesting guest on your show i'm just having a bloody good time it's weirdly like you would think this would be frustrating exhausting but like again we streamed a lot of hours of this today and didn't realize time had flown we were actually having a grand time just hanging out yeah in one air stuck on one area for most of the day Usually, that's the kind of, like, the the Vigigamey hellscape that would drive me loopy. Same. Uh, I did get very into Rain World, so I guess I do have a masochistic streak. <laughs> eh. Ha! I'm here. And <gasps> you... Well, good news and bad news. <laughs> falling down in rapid succession. <laughs> As I watch both your corpses hurtle down. I mean, you got him. I did get him. <laughs> we have video evidence that that happened. There is one other good thing that we should show off before we go here. I'm going to go back to, I'm going to disconnect uh, because there's also, and we've not even tried this, so this will be new for both of us. There's a PvP room. Um, okay, so neither of us know what this means, and uh, I'm going to let you pick because we have an option of one, two, and three. Gladiator, Ouroboros, or Impregnable. I don't know what they mean. <laughs> They're just my um, options. One of them scares me. Let's be mm. gladiators. Let's be gladiators. Sir Daniel of Playframe. We're here. I oh, challenge I... thee to a duel. <laughs> I'm so excited to accept, and we're here. Cool. Here's our map. Wellity, wellity, wellity. Ooh. Ha -ha! Ooh I, like, I like your opening gambit of <laughs> ranged attacks. Indeed. Hang on. It's Hang gonna on. be it's yeah. stick fight all over again. It kind of is. It's much trickier to use stick oh! fight. Oh, the boy, on guard! Oh no! <laughs> I'll on your guard, mate. Have a chance! No! Ah! I'm amazed neither of us has died yet. Actually, <laughs> ha ha! Ooh. 
people. That was mutually assured destruction right there. <laughs> ah, we're too oh. practiced at helping each other is the problem, Will. Yeah, but we're oh, really boy. good at murdering each other when the goal is helping. Habasha! Uh-huh. Habasha! You've won our game of chicken on that one, that's for sure. <laughs> I return. One point to you. Oh, God! All right, best of five. Let's let's do this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that, that almost got me. That uh. Once my knight had nipples. Now he has none. Both. <laughs> uh, apologies for the background noise. Uh, yeah. Apparently, my dogs took exception to that fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Cop <Corpse> juggle. <laughs> Stunts. <laughs> you know what? Being in the middle is the worst. I'm not starting there. That is a dangerous place to be. That is true. But we should get center. Oh. Oh no. So like do I get that point or uh No, it has to be slain. Alright. I see. Or I have to get credit. I have to do it right. <laughs> oh no. Do 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 do. Oh <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Edge guarding. Get out of here. Ah! Come Every on. guard is edge guard in this game. That's <laughs> a good point. <laughs> Ha -ha! Get out of here, sir! <laughs> From downtown, Sir Knight! He has been shut out! That is the most satisfying victory <laughs> flourish I've ever experienced in any video game. That's better than taunting in Smash Brothers or any game with a taunt. <laughs> Being able to win and then ha ha get out of here. The fact that you can't do that in other games means other games have failed. <laughs> I wasn't missing it in other games, but now I am. Now I'm retroactively sound. <gasps> Ooh. Apparently that was enough. All right. <laughs> A single point stands between you and victory. Let's do it. Sir Daniel of Blade Flame. Ha ha. Whoop. <clears throat> Let's try that again. There we are. Oh no! Oh, oh it's tis but a scratch. <laughs> ah! Trying to lure you in. The sound you can hear, friends, is our combined butt cheeks. Yeah, tensing. All right, that's no, okay. It counted. Oh. <laughs> I, if I'm involved, it matters. I guess. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's actually. Surprisingly fun mode too. <laughs> the game, as the game had doth declared, Sir Daniel of Playframe, you are indeed the victor on this great day. Uh, <laughs> Will, thank you so very much for joining me for some more of this <laughs> and being up for some more of this because uh, inexplicably, I'm still having a grand time playing Half and Lance with you. <laughs> mate, you, you know I love being on here. And, you know, I had to take a break from warming up to crush uh, Emmons and uh, Dan Jones's times on Neon White. Absolutely. So, uh, That's just important. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear that? I'm coming for you both. <laughs> <laughs> you can't let them keep doing this. But yeah, where like remind them again, Will, where can they find you? And what are you what are you up to these days? Well, friends, um, I stream on Twitch five days a week, and that is literally what I do for a living. So come on by to uh, Viking underscore blonde. That's me. Um yeah, I'll talk your ear off about weird indie games or releasing a game or the games industry or things beginning with video game. <laughs> it will. Highly recommended. I'm sure that I'll be joining you over there some other time as well, uh, just as a guest, just because we have good fun. But yes, thank you again for making time and thank you all for watching. And thanks to the devs for making a vert, like a spin on the oh. Bennett Foddy formula that I I'm having way more fun with than I expected to. Uh, yeah, go pick up Happen Lance. It's a good time. So, uh, yeah. But thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Bye.